What's up guys, Showtime here. Welcome back to another educational, to another exciting, to another explosive episode of Rush Royale. Today we have a very hype episode. We got a clip from the latest live stream, but first we're gonna discuss the topic in detail. We're talking about none other than Summoner and Harlequin. Which one of these two cards are the best card in the game? I know a lot of people say Harlequin is, and I'm going to give you a case for Summoner, but first, let's start every video like we always do and check the shop to see if we got a Legendary. Nope, still no Legendary. We've been playing this game from day one, and I know you guys are tired of me saying this, but I'm going to keep showing you guys the screen until I get a Legendary in the shop. We got the 40,000 gold saved up. Actually, we got over 80,000 gold saved up. We almost have 100,000 gold. What are we hoarding for? It's probably time to like increase our crit. In the next live stream, we will do that. Speaking about live stream, guys, we live streamed yesterday on a Tuesday, and it was so much fun. We got to do it again. I know we live stream very frequently, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, all the time. But make sure you have the bell notification clicked because we will be sneaking in some bonus live streams during the week as well. I'm having a blast playing the game with you guys. So now, let's talk about Summoner. What does Summoner do? For the people in the back that haven't been watching the videos, here we go. Summoner is a legendary card. When merged, summons a random unit to a free tile. This unit's rank is random from 1 to the summoner's merge rank. So basically, this card, when you merge it, it's going to help you cheat out an extra card. This is really good early game when you're trying to turbo your opponent out, but late game is when it really, really shines because the cards cost sometimes 500 mana, probably more than that, but you're going to get free cards when this card merges. Guys, what do you think about Summoner? I think this card is really, really strong because it gives you an extra advantage over your opponent by giving you more cards by spending the same amount of mana. But a lot of people say this card is the best card of the game. I myself personally don't have it. I wish I did, but let's talk about it for the people in the back. Harlequin is a legendary card. When merged, it creates a copy of any unit with the same merging rank. This is very powerful because when this card merges with another card, it's going to give you the exact same copy. It's like a mime on steroids. When mime merges with, mime can merge with any card of its rank, but the result is going to be a different card or an, a random card because it could be the same card as well. But with Harlequin, when it merges with a card, you know exactly what Harlequin is going to turn into. This works really well with attacking cards that need to have a specific number of cards. The first thing that comes to mind for newer players are Engineer. You guys know Engineer, you gotta have like six of them lined up in order to do an, an insane amount of damage. Well, this card works really well with Engineers. Shout out to all my free to play players. This card, just a side note, can definitely take you to 4,000 and beyond. Engineer and Harlequin work really, really well together. But for my pay to play players, my players who are already over 5,000, this card right here, Inquisitor. Harlequin works really well with Inquisitor because you need to have one, four, or nine Inquisitors on the field, and Harlequin helps you duplicate Inquisitors very, very easily. Guys, Harlequin is a strong card. A lot of people say it's the strongest in the game. Do you think Summoner can challenge Harlequin for the number one spot? Summoner can work in any deck as well. Summoner gives you an extra card. Of course, the extra card is random, but also Summoner shines late game when it's hard to get extra cards because the cards cost a lot, cost a lot. Now what Harlequin does, it stabilizes RNG because you, you do know exactly what card you're going to turn into. If you want to look for damage dealers, Harlequin is going to make you have a lot of damage dealers. If you want another frost like to slow the opponent's board down, Harlequin is going to help you stabilize that well. So Harlequin is less RNG. In the comments down below, let me know and let the community know which card you think is better. Is it Harlequin or is it Summoner? This is the question of the day. Also, if we got a clip from the latest live stream, we had a whole lot of fun. We talked about some stuff that I was like, whoa, are we really talking about this during Rush Royale? But yeah, but if guys, if you want to get down with the next live stream, go ahead and subscribe, but also click the bell notification so you get an alert when we live stream. My name is Showtime. Enjoy the clip. 
But more importantly, enjoy the rush. <laughs> <laughs> oh man you should have just said four or nine and see if i would have got it you should have said it speaking of inquisitors the whole chat would have got it espo we're, we're, we are all rush royale nerds in here oh i'm playing against dennis good game dennis good game dennis so ken what's up ken welcome to the stream welcome to the stream so if mime is white girl what's harlequin pocahontas let me see harlequin does Harlequin look like a po Pocahontas? Looks like Gambit to me, man. Looks like Gambit. What? What is this? Harlequin Pocahontas? Huh, I, I see it. I see it. Pocahontas. That could work out. I could work with it. I could work with Pocahontas. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Back in the 80s? Yeah, I go way back too, man. I go way back to playing games in, in arcades. Like literally going to the arcade to play the game. Asking mommy for quarters. Can I have some quarters so I can go to the arcade, please? Playing Pac-Man, and then for the for the kids playing Street Fighter, and winner, winner stay on, winner stay on, and at all as a teenager who stays on for like an hour at all, like he beat everybody, he beat everybody, he's still playing. Miss Pac-Man, yeah, yeah, Pac-Man was good. Hubert was your jam. Oh, man, I loved Pac-Man, man. I loved it, loved it, loved Miss Pac-Man. Then I started playing uh, way after in the arcade. I started playing Street Fighter. Started playing Mortal Kombat. Like, all right. Then NBA Jam came out. And I was like, oh, NBA Jam. Oh, my goodness. I'm never leaving the arcade. Old school from an old school from arcade machines. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Pinball, come on. Pinball. Of course. Of course. But they didn't really let you play pinball. Pinball was for the older older guys. Where, where I was at, they didn't let us play the pinball machine. Like, if, if you play the pinball machine... It, because the pinball machine cost more than a quarter. You know, it was like 50 cents or even a dollar. Uh, so for those of you guys who don't know, Mega Drive was like uh, like Sega Genesis. But before Genesis, it was just like a Sega. So it was a Sega. And the game I had was called... Oh, I can't believe I can't remember the name, I, the name of the game I, I had for Sega. Oh, man. Oh, Bubble Bobble was my joint. Especially it was a two-player game. Bubble Bobble was a two-player game. You could play with your friends, and that changed everything. That changed everything. Bubble Bobble. I played Bubble Bobble on NES. On Nintendo, actually. I remember because I was living in Harlem. And the guy who I used to play with, his name was Jonito. Don't know, don't know his last name or anything like that. But me and him played Bubble Bobble as soon as we got home from school every single day. Every single grade. Every single day. I wonder how it would look if I played Bubble Bobble now. ColecoVision, yeah, yeah. Coleco get, yeah, ColecoVision, yeah. Before Atari, ColecoVision was before. Sega games, oh, oh, Altered Beast. I had Altered Beast, and at the end of the first board, you like that guy that goes really, really fast. I definitely had Altered Beast. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I didn't play Fantasy Star, and I didn't play Alex Kidd, but Altered Beast, actually Altered Beast came with the Genesis I bought. You had the option, because this is before Sonic, right? Sonic came with a lot of um, Genesis, Genesis systems, but Altered Beast came with a lot before Sonic even came out. Sonic wasn't even the brainchild before, before with Genesis. Altered Beast was. 
I got a Game Boy knockoff for Christmas with 400 over operating system games on it. I want to find a way to stream it? Yeah, of course you can stream it. You got to, um... I'm assuming it has the little, um... Red and white cables or red and yellow cables. 